Pie Pisces. This is Moon Pie doing your next 10 days love reading for Pisces Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. This reading will be for from the time that you click on the video and 10 days going forward. Okay. Um, all the links in the description box below will show you how to contact me for a personal reading. Yes, I do personal readings. And also you can follow me on Instagram. And uh, if you have any interest in a Virgo, I do have another channel. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Gosh, called House of Virgo. <clears throat> okay, let's get right into your reading, Pisces. I hope you're all doing well. Love, love, love. What is the love energy? We're going to take a look at your person, the past, and then we're going to look at the future possible outcome with this person. If you see me flip, put a card down in reverse, um, um, and I turn it back up is because my personal preference in these particular readings is not to have any reversals. I don't need to have my card upside down in order to pick up a reversed energy. Um, so if I'm picking that up with a card that's upright, I will say something. I will tell you. All right. So let's take a look. I'm going to do some romance angels to see what the love energy is from this person and what is going on with them. Okay. And just remember these roles can be reversed. You know, it's a general reading. Okay. Oh, and if you guys want to subscribe to my membership, I will be adding one more perk uh, to that. So go ahead over and click the join button and you can see what perks I'm offering to become a member here. All right, let's see. So you've got wedding. Your person has wedding. The situation involves a marriage. Okay, also attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love right, life right now. Okay, so this person, maybe you are currently married to them. They could be married to somebody else. Um, but this relationship right now does involve marriage. This person does feel um, like you could be the one for them that they could, you know, marry or settle down with. Um, so the element is there for that. Okay, Pisces. But I still, I feel like, I mean, I do feel like there's an attraction towards you from this person. Definitely. Um, and you guys could be connected together with like through finances and career. Okay, but financial issues might be the reason for the relationship or a wedding or could be the reason why it's not at that point yet. All right, I'm going to pull some clarifiers. So I just want to see the situation involves wedding, involves marriage. This person may be seeking marriage with you or seeking to settle down in that kind of a relationship. Um, like a formal thing. Okay. Yeah. The moon is here. They're not too sure. Um, they are like trying to, I feel like have this revealed to them how they truly feel there. I don't know. I don't know that it's, they're not sure about you. I just feel like they're not sure for some reason, things are kind of like not clear for them just yet. As far as maybe becoming married, maybe getting married again. Um, they're looking to see if there could be any problems. Things could come up, you know, that if they tie the knot or even legally, if this would work out or if they, if they want to go that distance. Okay. Cause the moon can be about unseen problems. <clears throat> um, they're trying to trust their intuition about what they need to do right now. Um, just seeking clarity and getting, trying to get some truth, reveal, get truth revealed to them about, um, the idea of marriage. All right. Let's see. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay. So this person is definitely, they maybe there's like a journey or they're from far away. Um, this person is definitely going after their ninth cup. They have the eight of cups here. They are on a journey. They are seeking that ace of cups. They are seeking to attract that into their life. You hold that ace. And I feel like they are on some kind of journey to attract 
your love or attract something from you. It just feels like an openness to receive. That's how I feel. Now, finances and career, you both might work together. There could be a financial connection. Um, it, it, it's, it factors in, Pisces. Could be something with you as well. Let's see, maybe that's coming first. Okay, so there's the Pisces card. I feel like it is, that's you, Pisces. You're, right now you're very focused on your work and your career, building something in your life, okay? Um, I feel like your person or this person is looking at you and trying to figure out if they wanna get into a full-blown commitment with you, but I feel like you're like, well, I mean, I'm open, but I am really focused on <laughs> my money or my career at this time. And, and that could, maybe they're not picking up any vibes from you that you would be interested in something like that with them. They might be feeling like they don't have enough clarity to know. They could be trying to discover if that's something you would like to do with them. Um, but let's get more into your person's reading here. So this person's on like definitely some kind of a journey or person. They're seeking to be inspired. And I feel like this is the natural way about them. They have a really strong urge to create. They love to get involved or be inspired by new projects. Um, they love to travel this person or just enjoys to take risks in creative projects or things like that. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups here. This person is definitely on a journey to seek romance or to bring romance into a relationship with you, okay? I mean, that love gives them inspiration. Love and romance causes this person to feel alive, to feel like like a child, like a like a newborn, you know, it's nothing but the love and to take risks. Um, and I feel like this person, they may be gone from you right now, but I do see currently their energy coming back in to offer their cup of love and a proposal, okay? Um, but I also feel like right now they are kind of out there exploring. They're exploring something in their life. Maybe trying to get themselves free first before coming forward to you. Uh, they might be involved with somebody else or they might have responsibilities or duties to family and friends. Okay, or they're just out there traveling, exploring the world. And they're not fully ready yet to commit. They're discovering. I just feel like it's discovering. Okay. Seven of Swords on the Ace of Wands. Okay, this feels like this person is, um, oh, I'm sorry. It feels like they're kind of like, I don't know, they work for a circus or do some kind of performing arts or something. Um, <laughs> or they go around picking up garbage after a concert. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> like the cleanup crew or something. Gosh, so weird. I just, I never looked at the Seven of Swords and thought of someone who was like a helper. <laughs> I've never looked at that. Usually that card represents, um, you know, betrayal, lies, <laughs> or running away. Oh, and then, yeah, but so now I'm just picking up like this person is, has, they either have run away with the circus or they've gone to like a burn like they go do the burning man thing i'm not sure um or they go away or they or they are away right now or they're at a show i just feel like this person's like a nomad or they're kind of like free and traveling that we did have aquarian energy we have um pisces twice and, and this also could be you here, where you're also wondering if you wanna get married again or you're not sure how you feel about something. Um, 
Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio. So let's take a look here. All right. Well, you, you know what? This person, your person feels very comfortable with you. Okay. The Empress, Libra energy. They feel very comfortable with you. Um, they like how nurturing you are. They like how uh, you seem to be someone who's very beautiful, very handsome, uh, a good parent. If you have children, someone who's fertile, you're, you're, they love your ability to birth new ideas. Like I feel like this person feels like you are everything they could wish for, you know, in, um, in a partner, okay? You come across as a very healing energy to them resourceful uh, self-sufficient and confident and i feel like this person they kind of indulge in that they like that energy about you uh, there is an there is a message i'm getting here that this person feels like you complete them in a lot of ways like you're everything that they've been looking for Let's see the page of pentacles here yeah they, it feels like they have a lot of ideas that they would like to be able to um, set forth in motion with you okay that chariot energy you know they could see that you guys could um, really get some things going together started together could have something to do with finances and career um there's like um i feel like these both of these horses represent like you're two very similar people riding together on the on the same path heading in the same direction and the page of pentacles definitely feels like there's some type of communication currently will be coming from this person in regards to like um, work, job, money, a raise. Somebody here is very, very, very patient and has all of these fantastic practical ideas. And there's an element of like travel or willing to, you know, set the coordinates go in a particular direction with you in regards to like ideas and ventures okay but this person's also a bit blocked here they can be a little stingy <laughs> this person um they like to save that's really what it is this person likes to save and build themselves up this person is um your person is seeking financial gains they're they're very much into their solo pleasures and what you know you know they want luxuries they want the best of all things that they can have and they're not willing they, they would rather save their money and buy uh, purchase things that will be good for their um like their career their work or their home you know um they don't they're not a spendthrift Okay, um, but this person, I feel like they show themselves as being single to you. Um, they might be also trying to hide that for some reason. I don't know why. That's bizarre. I feel like they want you to think that they want you to think that if they're single, they're independent and they're okay. But I do feel like this person, listen, they would be more than happy to make some type of love offer to you or proposal, definitely, and put all that behind them. So going into the future, there's going to be some opening up, some truth coming out. Okay, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Definitely some truth. Um, a wake-up call of some sort communicating about their life purpose and that king of wands energy very very bold powerful charming and courageous and i feel like there might be some type of um a gift or an apology something like that coming for you um 
some expressions of love coming from this person let's take a look interesting it's taking a lot of courage and strength for this person to open up and express themselves to you might be an offer for a date or to spend some time together uh, something a little romantic or some romantic ideas they tell you about okay and again with the hangman new perspective this person is very like I have to tell you, Pisces, what they share on the outside, albeit true, they withhold a lot. They keep a lot within them. You know, they, they, they have like three different levels to themselves. They've got the top service, what you see on the outside. Then they've got the middle, which is what they offer up. And then the rest is like bottom of the iceberg there, that they, there's a lot of things. I don't know that they're secretive, unless the high priestess shows up. I just feel like this person doesn't like to give away too much. They like to just mostly stay quiet. And there is some type of revelation they're having here um, in regards to you. Very spiritual perspective here. Seeing something different about you. Um, having that wisdom but it's like internal i don't feel like they're really going to communicate they're holding back a little bit it's like they're kind of conflicted because on one end they want to be free it could have something to do with when they're free then they'll come towards you um from something perhaps or but it's also like they want love and they want to you know be with you and be connected to you but they also want to maintain their sense of freedom as well which is interesting let's take a look here at the such as the four of swords are side by side this person is tremendously single here or at least in their heart if they're with somebody else they're not they still feel like they're single like there's the connection there is not as deep as they maybe have you believe or they want it to be. Yeah, I kind of feel like they hold back a little bit. I feel like this person's in some kind of transition here. Yeah. But I don't feel like they're out dating. <laughs> you know, I feel like they, they, they're not, they, they go solo. It just feels like this person, their natural tendency and way about them is to be solo. But I do feel that they are thinking about marriage with you and commitment. They're just like kind of a quirky bird. That's how I feel. This person's a little bit of a quirky bird. They're unorthodox in their behavior and their approach um, to relationships. And you kind of never really know what they're feeling because they don't really let on. Yep, two of swords with the queen of wands. Very popular type of person. Bold and, like I said, courageous and confident, but they don't really let you know what's going on, you know? This person kind of stays in, like, decision mode. Like, they know they have to make a decision or compromise on something, um, but they're blocking communicating with that with you about that right now, which is, just feels like something that they're going through. On a, on a deeper level and yet I, I feel this like they want to have progress with you and, and move something forward here so let's take a look here and see what your moon pie messages are okay spying online this person's checking you out to see what you're about. I mean, instead of just communicating and talking to you to try to get information or spend some time with you, they, you know, I just, this might be somebody new for a lot of you, but they, they're, they're first checking you out online. Maybe they're doing a background check or trying to sort things out in their mind about you or trying to get more information, seeing how you, you move in your day to day. If, if you're if you are online that's only for those of you who are online i mean i know a lot of you like i'm not on social media well then that's not your message transition the end to suffering is upon you out with the old in with the new no one said it would be easy or has been the season 
in your life is transforming, beginning bringing you to a new hemisphere, allow it to happen and go with the flow. It's now time for change. So this person, as I said, is going through some kind of transition. They might be out, like letting go of some old things to have new things. But right now they're just, I feel like they're trying to free themselves, but I do feel like they want to come towards you. They see something with you. Yep. Hitting rock bottom. This person may have dealt with some betrayal, but they're surrendering to something here. And so it's taking a little bit of time to get to this place. Let's see. What are your moonology messages here, Pisces? Oh, a time for healing. Okay. I feel like that's this person. They're going through a healing thing right now. They want love. They want your love surrendering to the divine. Like their energy is like they're healing from something, but they're giving it to God because it's like out of their, their hands, bringing love into the situation. Okay. And this new moon in Aquarius. So this person could be an Aquarius that you're connecting with. Um, their, their goal here is to just bring love, but the way they do it is a little quirky. And I know you're kind of like, I don't get it. <laughs> it's just an unorthodox way of showing love or expressing their love to you. Let's see what feelings they may have for you. Okay. I wish things could be different. Yeah. So right now, um, there's a change happening with them. They're again, out with the old and with the new, but you caught them right at that cusp area, you know, where it's dawn, <laughs> you know, the sun's not fully down and the moon's not fully up. Okay see sometimes I stay awake thinking about you okay this person does think about you don't think that you are not on their mind or you won't be on their mind you are and you will be and they will I will wait for a sign from you okay I feel like any kind of communication or signs you give this person pulls them in your direction um, and I feel like they they're just in this position of like, they're trying to sort things out about you to see if this is going to go somewhere. I regret lying to you. Okay. That this is for some of you who have had a past with this person. That might be a separate message if this isn't your past person, but I feel like, um, there were some like, or whatever it is, there were some fibs or something that was told and they, they have some regret about that. Um, if this is someone new, I'd, I'm not sure. I, that's why I don't feel like it's somebody new because if somebody has regret about lying to somebody new, it could just be this person maybe regrets lying to themselves about something as well. I hid who I really am from you. Wow. Okay. I feel sad. I feel like this person was kind of stuck in a position where they had to like be something else and they were lying to themselves about the tr some truths in their life and in turn wearing that mask. I wish I could take back my words. Okay. Yeah, this is all whatever was said to you, they were making stuff up to either make themselves look better or feel better about themselves. Um, so that you would prove I'm hearing or that you wouldn't judge them for something and they regret doing that or saying that or presenting this false something or other. Let's see what your angel wisdom messages are. Okay. Wishes coming true. Those nine of water, your dreams become reality, a magical time of life, good fortune, faith in the universe that all will be well. Wow. Yeah, that's twice now you have the nine of cups here. There's some type of wish coming true for this person and for you. It's going to be a very magical connection going forward. Everything will work out. It will be a beautiful um, movement. It will be prosperous going ahead. Okay, four of earth, managing your resources wisely. Extremes in how you give or receive money, time, or emotions. Smart business decisions. Seeing things as black or white and being charitable. I kind of feel like this is definitely an energy of like 
both of you will be are, are I feel like there's a similarity to both of you that you both have this way of like doing business um, very generous and charitable with others um, perhaps a little uh, there is definitely a desire for long-term security here in this partnership between both of you um, and I also feel like um, this looks like somebody's picking out a, a, a piece of jewelry like a jewelry case or a ring okay it could be your person could be you admiring something keep going back in to look at it to manifest it into your life or your person is doing that paying for Oh, somebody is definite. There's an engagement here, engagement ring. Like I said, the situation involves marriage. I, I foresee this, and I foresee, like, it doesn't have to be, it's either a male or a female, but it's like somebody's going in and buying you, or you're buying somebody a, get a ring, some sort, paying for this. Whew, heavy. I need to get out of that. All right, let's take a look here and see what... Chinese fortune messages are okay Pro property property purchase or sale for many but heed security concerns in any transactions okay let's see what else they want to say sunshine the sun is shining on you career and business growth fabulous communication and relationships very nice somebody's buying a house or selling one reinvent yourself a transformation is taking place enjoy a new lease on life this could be in uh, this relationship somebody or this person reinventing themselves and coming on in with that mask off could be you reinventing yourself it could be along the lines of finances and career all right let's get um get one scripture message here to see what your message is here let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Everything is going to be fine. John 14, 27. Very nice. Okay, let's get to the charm. Okay, so I've got a cactus here. So somebody might live in an area where there's a cactus, and somebody has cactus sheets. I just saw they're like white, and they've got these little cactus cacti all over it. Something to do with a cactus. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't, you know, I see cactus sheets and then I see, I'm seeing like Arizona or Nevada um, or out somewhere in the West. Somebody's connected to that area or has lived in that area. Um, where else are there cacti? Mexico. Um, there's a connection there. If that resonates for you in some way, those things I said. What else do you have? Very interesting. You've got this blue and white. Um, oh, charm. It's like an egg, but that's water. That that feels like um, some, somebody. That's like a peephole to the like somebody here. You're either you're on a boat. I don't know if you're on a boat right now, but or somewhere near, or you recently have been. Are you looking up at the sky? Clouds are like very beautifully white. And are you standing at a beach? Are you were just there looking out at the water and really like getting connected with spirit there on the beach? Or at a lake? Somewhere where there's water and clouds. You could be sitting on your deck looking at the blue sky and the white, the white clouds as you're listening. And you've got the moon with the star. There's nighttime. Oh. You're out, somebody's been outside all day long into the night. Really looking. I don't know what's going on. With, I don't know. Somebody's, I just see looking at the clouds and then looking at the stars. Really connecting the spirit. got a gem here 
Some of you might be connected to a Gemini. That's a signal for you. But we also saw that, that gem here as well. You're one in a million, Pisces. You know that, don't you? And then you've got this pink crown. And this represents queendom. <laughs> if you're a female, or even if you're a male, there's an energy. I'm just, somebody here might be um, homosexual. Um, I know we have Gay Pride Month, so there might be a parade. Uh, somebody's in a parade or is attending a parade. I don't know why, where that came from, but I was just picking that up. I'm going to pull one more and then we're going to be done for the next 10 days. Okay, the apple of my eye. We have an apple here. And so somebody might be in New York, lives in the Big Apple, or you enjoy apples. If you're wondering if there's a worm in that apple that you're about to crunch into, no, there is not. Um, red delicious apple, very important. Somebody needs some vitamin C, but there's something here to do with an apple. A red apple you're either looking at it or you're eating it or there's apple clock somewhere on the wall there's apples somewhere or something along those lines okay Pisces so I hope that that reading was helpful to you again if you'd like to get personal readings the link in the description box below you can go down in there and see all the links to anything you need Oracle cards that I have created etc um, etc et all right you guys take care I'll speak to you soon bye